Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Final Fantasy XII. So, I did stuff, I bought stuff, and now it's time to go to the Goldmore Jungle. Uh, there's probably a way I could get there with air airship, but I have a teleport stone, so might as well use it. Cut out all the metal nonsense. Okay, now, which way do we go? Goldmore Jungle was... Alright, I'm in Goldmore Jungle. Baywood is down to the south. Okay. So let us slowly make our way down there. Ooh, treasure? Amber armlet. Cool. Don't think I'll ever use it, but cool. I still have the option. I wonder if these guys give more experience. Wait, I don't... No, I have seen them before. Okay, yeah, they don't give more experience. They're the same little things. Oh well, at least they're giving me some experience. Better than not. Let's go, let's go. Thank goodness I got the entire map for this area. Otherwise I'd be super lost and super mad. Just look at the mini map. Dang, doing so much damage with your magic. It's over 9,000 treasure chests. Three of them. No, please, I want the treasure. We just had. Yeah, oh, weapons are getting expensive, and so are armor. And so I was debating whether I should just do trial mode and just farm diamond armlets, but I want to move on with the story. Maybe I should stop buying equipment for, like,. Bosch and Pinello and Ash because I don't use them. But I still buy the latest up to date equipment for them. Hmm. If only there was a place I could just stand and then monsters would just. Oh no, Dual Shock Battery Low! Excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. Usually I have my controller plugged in all the time, but uh, I recently bought some Ultimate games, like I mentioned last time, and I wanted to test it out on my uh, PS TV just to see if the games were in good condition because I did buy them and they weren't new, they were used, so I wanted to see if the game would actually load. So they do load, but I don't know if there's going to be any problems after that, like if something's going to glitch out in the middle, but uh, we'll see what happens. So yeah, that's why my controller wasn't plugged in, because I was using the cable to plug my other controller that I use for the PSTV, and then I had to reset this controller, and I just didn't keep it plugged in. Am I making some sort of petrified? Also, I am starting to get a little tired. <laughs> Shouldn't really say that while I'm recording, but if my energy seems a little down or low, it's because it's almost nap time for me. Yeah, I record all on Sundays, and Sundays are usually my uh, my nap days. Which way do I have to go? The Feywood beyond the Goldmore Jungle. Is, is it the Pyramidal Rift? Let me look at the world map. Where the heck am I going? No, it's to the east, so I have to cross the head and mine. Okay. Ow! Magic, heal me instantly. Are you guys going to be tough for me this time around too? No. See, now I can actually take you. Now you guys don't hurt as much. To the hen mines, I need to go south. A rhyme fang. Ooh. Hey, bunny. Time to die. Hey, me. They're so cute. If only they were real animals, I would want them as a pet. Is it the head? But I went to the headlines before. 
And I'm pretty sure my map for this place is complete. Is it really? Yeah, because there's nothing at the bottom. And I have to head west. We shall find out once we get to the mines. Maybe I actually didn't go through the mines? I don't remember. It wasn't even that long ago that I played it, but I'm forgetting everything. Yeah, this is a bit. Is it? Let me just... Yeah, cause if... Oh, ow, 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 bye, 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 bye. Wrong place. No bueno. Good boy, Bond. Heal us all. It is to the east. And they said there's a trial we have to go through in the Feywood. <laughs> You've been spelled. Ah, oh, Bon, thank you, you're such a good character. So where is this trial that I have to do? I hope Fran wasn't casting magic while they were reflex spells. Nah, no, she is. That's why I'm getting hurt. Yeah. Hey, Balthy, you wanna attack him? Oh, he's reflex? Why is he reflex? Magic, white magic, spell... Puppy. Yeah, because I was like, his armor shouldn't give him reflex status. That was another thing. Chronos team. What do I have to do here? Maybe I should put up, pull up a lock. I'll head for the safe crystal and see if there's any way I can go south from there. You've been poisoned. Come on, Vaughn. Let's go. Whatever healing needs to happen can happen right here. Save the current game? Yes, please. Because I have no idea where the freak I'm going. You know what? I'm pulling up a walkthrough. Uh, no, where is... Huh. Let's see... South, down from the Feywood. Here? Ah, oh, there was that thing. Dense mist prevents you from advancing. What am I supposed to do then? Hmm, let us all ponder and thought. <laughs> oh, his dead spirit! Go out to him. Oh no, but they won't let us through! Oh no wait, it's gone now? What's the deal with the spirit? Why does she keep seeing it? Is he a good thing or a bad thing? I don't remember. So it wasn't in the headlines. I was wrong. But let us continue. Ew. Oh my gosh, is this a boss? It's a pretty boss. It's a flower. That's it. Interesting. Oh, it's a Rafflesia. Okay. Hey guys, attack him. Fran, Fran, what are you doing? Yeah. 
Oh, she doesn't have any MP. Oh shoot. Well then, we're gonna have to resort to this. I was like, what the heck is she doing? Why is she just standing there? And did you see how long it took for for it to load a quickening? And in all that time, her HP was still being sapped. Like, that's dumb. Why are the loading times so long? Duh. Yeah, eliminate the treachery. Go, go, go! Oh man, speaking of elements of treachery, I just watched well done, Thor Ragnarok yesterday. Yeah. Like yesterday at the time of my recording. It was fun. It was a good movie. It was the best Thor movie out of all three. So my ranking for Thor movies is Thor Ragnarok, then the first one, then Dark World, New World, whatever it is. But I don't wanna like raise expectations, but it was a good movie. There were some things that were kind of unnecessary, but it didn't like affect the overall movie too terribly. And the music was fun. It's just a good movie. And my next movie that I'm looking forward to is uh, Murder Murder Train. That's not the actual title. Murder on the Orient Express. Because I love trains, and I don't really like reading murder mysteries, but like, I like people having to solve things and figure out puzzles, that, which is kind of like what a murder mystery does, so I want to see how that movie plays out. No spoilers or anything, like I didn't look up anything on Wikipedia, I want to be pleasantly surprised. But then a lot of people are like, oh, what if it turns out- Okay, I'm, I gotta switch Fran. Sorry. Uh... Yeah, Bosh. Powerhouse. Go. Oh. Yeah, people are like, what if it turns out to be like the movie Clue? And I did watch Clue and I was like, but would they really do that? Actually, Clue did come after the novel. Because the novel of Murder on the Orient Express came first. And then they made the board game clue, then they made the movie clue, and now they're redoing they're making Murder on the Orient Express movie. But yeah, still, I love trains. That's why I really liked um watching the anime Bakano. One of my most favorite animes, especially because the character designer, um, Enemy Katsumi, love their work. A lot of people didn't like Bakuno because there were too many characters and too many timelines to keep track of and they were like... What the freak? Bye... Uh, it's time to go heal myself. Select leader. Ooh. Wow. I didn't realize Bosch was confused at the end. But anyways, I love Bakuno because a lot of people were confused with all the different like timeline changing, but I kinda liked that because it made you like focus and concentrate on who's who and what's what, like what are they doing. And it, I love it. I'm, I mean, um... The writer of the light novels for Bakuno also wrote Do Da Da Da, and I tried to watch it because I thought it would be the same shenanigans. And it kinda is. It's like a bunch of different people with their own storylines connected by this one thing. But it didn't have the same charm and spunk and feel that Bakuno had. It just felt like it was trying to mimic Bakuno. And I didn't like it, so after watching first season, I didn't watch second season, even though 
my favorite male Japanese voice actor, uh, Miyano Mamoru, did the voice for Kida. I I was like, sorry, dude, I can't watch it. Are you dispelling him? Should I just not? Attack? Okay, there we go. This is totally new domain. Am I going to get lost? Ooh. Man, I kind of want to get back into watching anime. It's been a long time. And... Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, wait. I can set a gambit for her. Duh. Um, move all of these down. All y'all down. All y'all down. All y'all down. All down. No. Okay. Bow reflects. Bow status reflects. There you are. Then you attack. Turn that on. Go. And now we should have a better chance of survival. There we go. I'm still learning how to set up gambits. Yeah, anyways, I want to continue watching more anime because, like, that's how I was keeping up with my Japanese because I would hear words, I would hear how, like, sentences are formed. And so, like, it would be easy for me to understand what they're saying without using subtitles too much. No, I wanted to treasure chest, come on. But I haven't been watching lately because... I don't know, like, I mean, there are a lot of good series and the animation quality went up a lot, but... I guess just trying to keep track of so many series to watch is just... tiring. So I stopped. I mean, the only thing I... Whoa, there's something in the middle. The only one I really watched uh, was Gekkan Shoujo Nozaki-kun, and then the latest one I watched was uh, Yuri on Ice, just because I wanted to see if it was like silliness with figure skating boys. But and this time, them shall the pilgrim find truth and illusion both. Illusion betokens the true way. Okay. So, fake things are real. Huh. Heal me, Vaughn! I'm weak! Is there anything here? No? I shall be lost here forever, and I will be leveling up like crazy. Actually, since they're all level 40, I should bring in my second party. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, they're all level 41. Hello! Go. Everyone attack. Dang, everyone in this group is a powerhouse. Enemies die pretty quickly. Also, I'm not waiting for a cast time. These guys are scary. Ouch. I really need to set up more gambits with Mel. I don't think I have a lot on her. Yeah, like, she's not even healing herself. Gambits. Nello. Uh. Really? Your HP is not less than 40? I don't really need this one. Let's do self status. Self HP 40. Cure. Ooh, to all allies in range. Huh. Let's turn that on. Let's turn that to Kiraja. Uh, let's see. Silence, petrify, poison. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Ooh, 
I really don't know where I'm supposed to be going, but I want to explore this map. Okay, so there are four little two things. Oh, Ash is also healing people. Nice! Why does the music for this place sound so scary? When there's like nothing here. Ethers, yes. Wait, was this the first one? Okay. So do I have to talk to all the cliffs? Emotion for tokens the true way. Okay. But this one doesn't have anything. So where am I supposed to go? Walk through. Ah, heal, man. Good job. Okay. There are pentagon tower things with lights in them. Go and then press X on the lights. No? Go do the. Alright. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, can I interact with the lights? No. What? Um... Sorry, I need to look for a better walkthrough. Uh... Instead of looking for Gira Vegan, let's look for Feywood. Oops. Feywood. Here we go. Sorry, this episode is feeling kind of anticlimactic. Like, I'm feeling lost, don't know where to go, but it's all good. I did the boss fight. One of them will look a lot clearer. Walk through the clear gap, keep going in a straight line, and you'll. Oh! Okay. So, one of them will look clearer. Is it this one? And then... Walk straight? Okay, wait. The northernmost one and examine the glyph in the center. Remain in the middle of the shrine and pan the camera around the most of the sides to stream this and still, but only one of them will look a lot clearer. Walk through the clear gap and keep going in a straight line. You'll arrive in another shrine. You'll be led to the exit in the next area. What? So I saw all the shrines. Ooh, okay. Ow. That thing scared me. I can walk through the wall? Arrive at another shrine, repeat the process a couple times, you'll be led to the exit into the next area. I saw all the shrines. Press chest. One of them looks clearer? Oh! Ha ha ha. That wasn't actually. Ooh! Okay, so I have to do this doohickey again. Well, good thing I tested it out. It was just pure luck, but okay. Okay, so... Kill all the enemies first. Plunder their bodies, their carcasses. 
is clearer. What? Well, that was the way it came from. None of these look clear. Dudes, what is happening? Let's just explore around and see which one looks clearer. I mean, this guy's pretty clear, but that's because a monster is right in front of me. The heck, that was scary. Well, let's just go around. I think I do have to teach someone the... Yo, girl, why aren't you healing yourself? Sure. More shrines, more shrines. Give me all the shrines. Hey, we're good. Examine the pattern. Illusion betokens the true way. Yes, thank you. Did I have to start off from this one and then it'll take me to the next one and it'll take me to the next one? Let's fight the monsters on the way. Ooh, ow. Now, what are you doing? Attack the basilisk. Oh, why did you not heal yourself? Okay, so if we go straight from that, we reach this one. Salmon pattern. Illusion to tokens the true way. This way. Which should lead me to another. So this is how they expect you to get around here. Now I got it. I got your game. That's why the last one didn't have a thinger, because that was it. That was the way out. Okay, find a true way. Kill these big uglies first. Ow! Oh, level up, nice. That means everyone else should be leveling up soon. This is the clear way. Uh, read the inscription. Over among the gate, Gigas. That's the way. Okay, touch the gates. Okay, I do have to teach someone um, the Belial summon. I will teach it to Vaughn, just because. Just because. Oh, but he doesn't learn any other skills with Bellius. Okay, then he learns Horology. Oh wait, what about his other board? That's Mateus. Bellius! Where's Bellius? Ah, here. Yeah, he doesn't learn anything. He learns Horology and or... Libra, but he already has Libra. I don't need Libra. Vaughn has Libra. Um, so she learns nothing with Black Mage, with Machinists. She learns nothing. Okay, so not her. Mateus, he already has that. Bellius, nothing. Oops. That's Mateus. Bellius, nothing. Bellius, she already knows potion lore. I should teach her Mateus so that she can get my magic. Might be useful. But well, let's see, Bellius. Nothing. Nothing. And. Uh... Bellius, Bellius. Nothing! Okay, so the best person to teach you to is Balthier, because then at least he'll get Libra. Okay, so now I have to switch out a party member. Uh, bye for now. Um, touch the game. Wait, I'm supposed to summon him. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Read the inscription, summon Bellius. Okay. Nope. This summon 
bellies. Oh dear. And hopefully the door will open. Hopefully I did it the right way. Okay. Touch the gate. Now it did it. Awesome. Progress being made. I will teach Mateus to Ash. Hopefully all of my other summons let other characters learn useful skills too. But we will see. Thanks, Bellius. Good job. And I got through the Feywood! So I should be in Gear. Wait, so... A boss fight is coming up then. I should be doing Gigas. Is he even a boss fight? Or was Belly as the Gigas? I'm confusing myself. I'm starting to be out of it. Woo! Ancient Syria, Gear Vegan. With its sad, droopy music. Maybe I should level my characters up more. Ooh. How do you remember the poem already? Fran only ever said it once. There's too much mist. I don't want to be Well, now that you're aware of it. Oh no, it's cooled. So it's not like dangerous mist. Bum bum. Venus. What is the shadow? The shadow of the door. I don't know if you can get out of the way. I don't want to end up twisted and insane. I don't want to end up twisted and insane. But Ash wants to go in. Do you see your dead husband? Camera pan. Yep, there he is. Don't listen to him, he's tricking you. It's a trap. It's a trap. But of course, she's not going to listen to anyone. She's gonna do what she thinks is right. Switch back. Bye bye. Oh no, I'm gonna keep it at Pinello, so. Oh no, 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 no. I wanna make my leader Pinello, just so that I have a hold on how who to cure and whatnot. I wonder if there's a safe point up there? I don't wanna just go straight into the dungeon. A teleport stone! Even better! Now we can magically teleport to be a vegan. Nice! I didn't realize how dark it was getting. Whoops! Should've turned my lamp on. I mean, light. Wow. Man, I'm just so out of it today recording. Messing up my first recording of the day with no mic and then the second one it got too dark. Um, you know what? I know not a lot of things happened in this episode. I just basically got lost and fought a lot of things and just finally made it to Giru Vegan. But this is a good place to stop for today. I'm just going to level my characters a bit more so that they're all like the same level as each other because it bothers me when one person's like a higher level than anyone else. I just like everyone to be at the same spot. And then I could probably earn some gill too, because I'll be earning, I'll be picking up loot that I can sell later. And yeah, that way I don't have to start Giru Vegan and be like, how long is this gonna be? Like, how much longer is it? Like, when's a good place to stop? So I think this is good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.